Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Microsoft Flight Simulator on Air Career. Today we're going to get ready to do one of our longer flights. We're going to be flying from Lancaster to Columbia Metro. Uh, it's 440 miles, three and a half hours. What we're going to do, we'll take off, cruise for a little bit. Uh, we'll come back probably about... 60 miles out from landing uh, ride a little bit and uh, yeah we'll uh, see how it goes hopefully we don't crash so let's get ready to do this we have it already set up let's get uh, ready to do our first leg of this flight we're going to have to throw a ton of fuel in our aircraft. Bump that up to 100%. That's going to cost us 135 uh, credits. Go ahead and validate our fuel and payload. We'll take off at 10.33 a.m. Let's go ahead and fly now. Alright. We are ready to fly. Let's set our altitude a while. This one we're going to climb 12,000. Sounds good. This will officially be our highest flight we've done in this aircraft. Let's do 1,500 feet a minute. So, what's our heading? Heading is 225. If we can get it. 226 close enough. Let's go ahead. Throttle up here. Brakes off. Here we go. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. Airborne Laps time up. logged. Oh, we forgot to set our altimeter. Four hundred and thirty six miles left to go. Heading on, autopilot on. Alrighty, here we go. Climb towards nothingness. I'm thinking at this height, we're not going to see very much. That's why, I, you know. We're going to go ahead, get up to our cruise altitude, and then we'll just kind of cruise. And we'll come back 
close to landing as we descend. So. Here we go. Already got our time to reset to that. Got some not so happy looking clouds ahead of us. We're cruising about 96 knots across the ground. Hey, look, it's Park City Mall. That big cross-looking building, Park City Mall. sure it's Park City Mall. All right, we got 433 nautical miles to go. Like I said, the beginning part of this isn't going to be that long. Uh, we're already halfway up to where we need to be. Probably got another few minutes to climb. We'll get up to altitude, we'll ride for a little bit, and uh, we'll come back before we land. Uh, that'll probably be the longest part. Um, yeah. If there's any, like, major events that transpire, we'll uh, come back to that, but uh, we shouldn't have that happen. Hoping once we get up here to 12,000 feet, we uh, can back the engine down, just kind of ride. I have uh, a few emails I got to send, anyway, for work, so I'll be able to keep an eye on this, send my emails, do what I got to do, and uh, we'll be right here watching along the way. Oh, we're losing speed way too quick. We're up to 7,700 feet. I wonder if we don't back down our angle of attack here. We're at about a 5 degree angle, of, 6 degree angle of attack. I feel like we're about to stall. And we're at 100%. So let's back this down. 1500 might have been too much. Bird speed is on. I should be able to adjust it. Nope. Too high. Let's drop it to a thousand feet per minute. Yeah, you can see we're stalling. We gotta get some more speed into her. There we go.
Okay, so this climb might uh, take us a little longer than I thought. Since we can't keep no speed into it. We're up to 10,000. There we go. Alright, we're at 10,800 feet. We got some good speed put back in. We're almost out of the danger zone here. At 11,000. Let's see if we can't go get the uh, last little bit here. We're up to 11.3. right here with the autopilot there's eleven seven All right, so we got up to uh, something wasn't set right. We ended up having to use the out control. Or the altitude hold mode, which is off now. Now the toggles are vert speed off. Level mode on, autopilot on.
return flight route. All right. You guys can see we're definitely slowing down here, so I'm not going to make you guys sit here for another, you know, three hours plus while we uh, do this. So uh, we'll be back in about 300 miles, maybe a little more. Um, if anything interesting happens, I'll uh, bring you guys back. Nice little cruise here at 12,900 feet. So, we'll be back in a little bit, guys. As we're getting through these clouds and uh, hopefully nothing too major will happen. I believe, let's see where we are here on our little mini map before we bounce out here. We're about, we're over York now. Um, maybe we cruise down to the state line? I want to make the video too long. And I also don't want it to be too boring. Um, yeah. We've used 6% of our fuel already. That's kind of scary. If we have to stop to refuel, I'll cover that. But uh, I don't think we should. Everything seems to be holding steady. We're moving 98 uh, knots across the ground. So, we're about 10 minutes from the state line. We're definitely well into York at this point. We got 422 and a half nautical miles to go. So. Been a fairly eventful little takeoff so far, but uh, we got it. We're just kind of cruising right along at this point. So, we'll cut out the uh, flight over Maryland, Virginia, and North Carolina. We'll come back. We'll probably be in South Carolina, depending. I forget where. Let's slide down here. Yeah, we got a ways to go into South Carolina, I believe. Actually, now we might come back about Charlotte and get ready to land. I think we're coming in 2 3. It's either 2 3 or 2 9. I know we're coming one of those two runways, so. We might be close to Charlotte once we get, re get back here and get ready to land. Um. So, let's adjust our heading here real quick. See if we can't get it a little bit closer to being on course here. Still not vectoring back to it. So, ah, yeah, we are slowly. Uh, 
it's such a minute change that I don't think it uh, really had much change on it. But uh, let's go ahead. We're down to 419 miles to go. So, there we go. We'll be back in a few. Everybody, hold on to your pants. This is going to be a quick flight. Not really. It'll be a lot longer for me than you guys. Let's uh, jump out of the aircraft. We can see what the uh, scenery looks like before we go. We got some not-so-happy clouds, as Bob Ross would say. Well, he always had happy clouds. Our clouds, not so happy. Uh, I'm wondering if we don't dip back down to 10,000. Because he seemed to be struggling to keep airspeed at uh, 12. So... Why don't we do that real quick? Drop it down to 10. That's right, we gotta set our vert speed. thousand feet a minute descent shouldn't take us long probably about another two or three minutes we cruise at 33 percent we should have enough uh, fuel to get us there we are definitely moving a lot quicker now as we're descending, so. I have to keep an eye on what our overall airspeed is once we level out. Really just worried about conserving the fuel to get in there. I mean, at 415, almost 416 nautical miles to go, it's going to be uh, a lot of bit here. But uh, like I said, I got some work stuff I got to take care of here. We're going to get down to 10,000. Uh, we'll come back for the landing. So we're going to be flying straight through this cloud bank, probably, I believe from what I saw, down into Virginia, but other than that it should be good. Uh, may step it up to about 35% engine, here. I mean we got pretty good airspeed, we're moving 120 knots now. Should be well into Maryland at this point. Nope, we're right on the line just about. Yeah, we got another 200 feet to go. And then we'll see what our airspeed slows down to.
Ten thousand might be our max for this aircraft. It says we can go up to fourteen, but uh, fourteen seems like a bit of a stretch. We're down to 412 nautical miles to go. We're almost across the line. We're so close to the line, we might as well stay and wait for it. As we are, what, 22 minutes into this flight already. Let's, uh, we'll pop it off to 40% on our engine speed here. All right, guys. I know we can't see the highway sh signs, but uh, they should be getting ready to say welcome to Maryland. So. We're doing 95 knots across ground. Ninety seven now. There's ninety eight. All right, so we're looking at a hundred knots. If we keep it right here, that's another three hours till I probably bring you back. maybe three and a half depends how our fuel situations look and we're cruising 47 percent so all right we'll be back in a minute hang on when we come back we'll be probably North Carolina South Carolina see you guys when we get back all right, guys, we are back. We are 40, almost 45 nautical miles out of Columbia Metro. Uh, we're down to 7,500 feet. Um, there was a game crash, so I had to restart. Thankfully, the last saved spot was at an airport in North Carolina um, we didn't land but uh, on air said we had landed so I'll take it <laughs> so yeah this is where we are right now 43.89 nautical miles out we're 50% I refueled when we were at the uh, airport as well that's why we're only at 66% So, it should be landing here probably about 20 minutes or so. Ah, a little over 20 minutes. interesting to see what runway it brings us in see the sun starting to go down on us as we have 42 nautical miles to go Could speed this up a little bit. Um, 
if we wanted to bring it in a little faster, but I don't know. Maybe we bump it up to 60%, see what that does for us, as far as our speed. Alright, so we should have this delivered relatively quickly. Bump it to 65. See what that does for us. Sunset looks good in this. We'll set this to come down to two, three hundred. Six hundred feet per minute descent. Should help us pick up a little bit of speed as well until we get down to twenty three hundred feet and then we will uh, probably start slowing down again. Let's go ahead check our altimeter here. That's solid. We're a hundred and twenty four. We're moving a hundred and twenty five knots now. Bounds between 124 and 125. You can see Sumter Airport over there, Shaw Air Force Base. Yeah, whatever that airport is. <laughs> Woodward. We are well inside uh, South Carolina, so. down to 6,000 feet now with 34 nautical miles to go. So about 24 miles and we'll uh, pull up the airport list and get ready to land on either 23 or 29 I hope. Hoping we're not going all the way around. Well, 
We're at 64% of our fuel left. Porvenir Air Park. So here we go. I think what we'll do next time if the game crashes, um, I'll let you guys watch it take off. I, just, I thought about that after I already got back up in the air. We were like 200 miles out, or 189 miles out, something like that. And, uh, yeah, I just, at that point, I just wanted to get here and get landed. So, really didn't think about it till afterwards. Maybe landing. If we come in too nigh, we're landing directly into the sonnet, I think. So that'll be fun. See what it's like now. Yeah, you can see it now. Like there's definite glare there. So. But it looks good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it might be annoying, but it definitely looks good. Let's say we're about, uh, 16 minutes from the airport or so, maybe 17. So we'll get down here on the ground and uh, next episode will be our flight down to Florida. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, get down there pretty well.
All right, so we're down to 21.8 nautical miles to go. So, we've got about 11 miles until we land. We're down at 2300. So, almost into the 10 minute range. Go ahead. One, two, four, decimal one, five. Cub crafters tree one, one. Goodbye. Approach Cub crafters zero tree one, one, two thousand three hundred feet. Cub crafters zero tree one, one. Approach altimeter two nine or decimal eight tree. Radar contact continue. All right, there we go. So apparently we got uh, two airports here pretty much right on top of each other. Flying over Fort Jackson right now. More of like the training areas of Fort Jackson. Alrighty. Last 18 miles to go. Can we get different ranges All right. Almost to the 10 mile mark. Oh no, this is one of those flights I swear it feels like it'll never end. That'll be like the flight back to Lancaster. We'll probably make two refuel stops from there.
so. Twelve miles to go. Could almost get ready to pull up our airport list now. Now we're over where the barracks are. Columbia Metro number three. Columbia Tower Cub Crafters 0311 is 11 miles northeast, 2,300 feet without the delay. Cub Crafters 0311, Columbia Tower. Altimeter 200 decimal. Straight in 2 3. All right. Not bad, we weren't off that by much. Let's go ahead and uh, make the alarm sound. See that we uh, have the autopilot off. Oh, we're speeding up. I thought I had the brakes <laughs> or the throttle decrease. Oopsie. Hate it when you hit the wrong button. Get it down to 40. 40% sounds good. At least we're not coming in too nigh with the sun directly on us. Or like right in our face. At least this way we should be able to pick up the uh, runway. Fairly decent way out. Even with the glare. See what we can do here. Under eight to go. And we're coming in on the glide slope. Cut it down to 33%. See if that helps kill off some more speed for us. I know we're too fast. Calm down.
almost into the 60 knot range. There we go. Five nautical miles to go. Get uh, we're at three nautical miles or four nautical miles to go. Sorry if you guys can hear my dog chewing on a bone here. He's playing her right next to me. He's like, hey, you're trying to do something. Let me do this. to keep it at 20% for now. It's going to be an interesting taxi, I know that much. like right on that cusp of being too fast.
two and a half miles to go. Rovine looks so far away at this point. Just trying to hold it steady. And not overcorrect. Throwing at the 500 call. There it is, mile and a half. Just to make sure we don't clip any of these trees coming in. Once we clear the last of the trees, we'll kill the throttle again. We got a nice sized runway, so. And the cop doesn't need that long of a runway, so. Landing time logged. So we got a taxi for three quarters of a mile. Sounds like fun. Actually, almost a mile now. This is making us do donuts again. under three quarters of a mile now. We're just kind of cruising right down the taxiway. Here we go. We're under half a mile to go now. Looks good with the landing lights on.
nobody's here. Let's set our parking brake. Cut off the engine. Engine off time logged. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. All right. All right. There's that one done. So, next leg up. Will be. This one right here. It's 310 nautical miles. That'll be tomorrow's flight. But, everybody, stay safe. Happy flying. And remember, it's never goodbye. It's just till next time. I am Penalty Box Gaming. Peace. We're out.